Maybe. Yes. Does mine still Fill work? Fill the watering can. We'll find out. Yeah. All right, new this morning, whether you're looking to enjoy art or create your own masterpiece, the South Bend Museum of Art has it all. Yeah, Melissa Stevens is showing us what's new inside the museum. She joins us now live with more. Melissa, I love this because I think a lot of people know about this, but may be intimidated to walk inside. Don't be intimidated. Go on in. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're right though. Some people don't actually know about this gem in our community. And so that's why we want to remind you it's here. And we also want to remind you that it is free to come inside. So no admission prices. We're currently inside the undergraduate college residency exhibition. And you see this name here on the wall, Lydia Feld. We're actually going to talk to her right now. You, Lydia, this is so exciting. First of all, congratulations, because you just graduated. So that's exciting. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. It's great to be with you, be here with you this morning. Yes, I, ju I just graduated from Holy Cross College, um, salutatorian of the Department of Humanities. Super exciting. That's a big deal. That's a huge deal. But talk about where we're standing right now. You actually have your artwork on the wall behind us. So this is really cool. Tell me about it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so right now we are in the Crowley Gallery within the Warner Gallery in the museum. This is the undergraduate residency show. I have six paintings featured here in the show right now, along with all my fellow artists who are also super talented young women within the community. Super proud of them. Um, yeah, so these are six paintings I have featured. Um, one of them is a falconry piece, uh, a two-headed cow, a self-portrait I did, um, a wolf with hands coming out of it, wow. uh, a black cat, and an albino deer. Um, and three of these pieces are multimedia, so they feature beads, flowers, other things like 3D, 3D elements that kind of pop forth. And um, two of them, they react in a black light, so it's like a little oh. bit of a rave going on. Yeah, so that's why you have that lamp there. I yes. love that. And how has it been feeling to like have the community able to come out and see your display on public view? It's, it's super exciting. Um, it's, it's, it's one thing to be an artist and to study, um, but it's something else entirely to have your work out in the community and people can actually view it. Mm -hmm. And you can have discussions and, and discourse around your work and what people think it means and what you like what it means to you and the difference between that. It's really interesting. Oh my goodness, yeah. And the self-portrait, we were talking about that off mm -hmm. camera. That's it's not easy to do that. It, it isn't. It's rough. It's rough. You really gotta trust the process sometimes because it, it, yeah, it can look really bad at some points. But you, you know, it definitely gets better as you're working on it. There you go. Well, thank you for showing us this morning. Again, congratulations on graduating. That is so exciting. We love it. Stop in. You can check this out. But also coming up, guys, we're going to talk about summer classes and camps. Parents at home, I think you're you're wanting to learn more about that as school starts to wind down. We'll have that coming up in a little bit. Do you see what Long art summer. teaches you? I mean, what she was saying, I mean, trust the process. It's just so, mm -hmm. so encompassing of everything that you need in life, really. So, and I love her colors this morning. So bright. Oh my goodness, yeah, you have to come out and see it, yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, I'm thinking summer parents need to keep their kids attention <laughs> span and air conditioning. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. Everything is going yeah. together here. <laughs> oh, Melissa, thank, thank you. you. We appreciate it. Coming up this past weekend,